if you could go back 10 years, what would you do different in your journey? You know, what would you do? <clears throat> People always ask me that. And I, I kind of str I struggle to answer it a little bit because, like, not in a mad way, but like I'm, I'm mad happy with how things went, like, mm. like in in my kind of journey, and like there's been little, you know, what I mean, little mistakes, like builders that I wouldn't use again, or a lender that I probably shouldn't have used, and you know, little hiccups. But all my all the deals like have, have made money. I've never lost money on a deal. Um, and then the mistakes that I've made, I was happy that I made them when I made them because they were the learning curves that allowed me to not make them or maybe a bigger deal when they would have cost way more. But I think um, that in terms of just advice that I'd give to like my younger self or, or somebody else, I'd, I'd say, obviously you need to think about the money and make sure the numbers make sense, but enjoy the journey as well. Like, because we only do this once, you gotta enjoy the life because this, this generation that we're in right now, so like it's so sick that like, you know this millennials generation z like everybody wants to be an entrepreneur everybody's out there everyone's out there and going to get it but at the same time because we're entrepreneurs and we're working by ourselves we get really isolated and i think if we don't focus on these little wins and the victories and actually enjoying it yeah. we could end up just being mad depressed so i think just just enjoy it bro there you go guys wise words from kaz hope you lot are taking notes